Hey guys, today I want to talk about a new guitar that I bought. Um, so yes, I have a lot of guitars, but this one might be the most unique yet. This is called the Traveler Guitar Pro, and um, Traveler Guitar is a company that's known for making very, very small, portable light guitars. As you can see, this guitar is very different than a regular guitar. For example, it does not have a headstock, right? So all the tuners are actually uh, in the body here. So you can actually tune your guitar from here, and that actually saves a lot of space, right? So this guitar you can actually fit in the overhead um, cabin department of a plane, and uh, that's, you know, that's really convenient for people who travel a lot. So uh, hence the name Traveler Guitar, right? So this is really meant for people um, who travel a lot. Um, maybe you can even use it when you like go hiking someplace, um, backpacking or camping someplace. Just a really lightweight guitar. I think it weighs like three pounds, which is really, really light for guitar. So it's extremely light, extremely portable. Um, and uh, yeah, that's what this company makes. They make a whole range of guitars. I think they make like a Stratocaster um, type of guitar called the uh, Travelcaster. And then they make like, um, uh, like a Super Strat version. And they make like a Les Paul travel guitar. Like they make all sorts of different um, forms of travel guitar. This is the original one. This is called the Travel Guitar Pro Series. This is the original one that debuted in the 90s. Um, this is when this company was started in the 90s. And um, yeah, this is a... Uh, Still one of the most versatile models, I believe, because it has an electric guitar pickup. As you can see, it has one single coil pickup right here. And it has a piezo bridge pickup, which is meant to uh, kind of simulate an acoustic electric guitar. So you have an acoustic electric sound, and then you have a pure electric guitar sound. So it's very versatile. Um, and it's this one that I got is actually um, one I got uh, kind of used off of eBay. So it does not have the stethoscope. But if you buy it new, you have the stethoscope as well, which is kind of like... Um, a pair of um, well stethoscopes right but actually they're meant kind of like as uh, earphones so uh, if you buy this new it actually comes with the stethoscope uh, earphones and you can actually listen to your guitar while you're playing it uh, thereby you don't even need to buy anything extra in addition right if you just want to hear yourself playing uh, without disturbing other people it comes with that built in which is really nice uh, however I did not get that um, so I got some extra external amps I'm using instead um, and uh, yeah, this is a, it's a really cool, unique guitar. Uh, this is a full-scale guitar. There's nothing like shortened about it. If you, you know, look on the Gibson or Fender websites, you see like mini versions of their guitars. Those are actually like smaller scale. They're three-quarter scale. They're not meant to be like full-scale guitars. Like they're basically kid guitars, right? But this is actually a full-scale guitar. So that's really cool. Um, so yeah, uh, if you buy this brand new, it costs 400 bucks. Um, I got this for used. I got this one used. So I got this one for about 250 which is a substantial discount. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I like it. It's like a maple neck right here with a rosewood fretboard. And um, I believe the body is made of a maple or something as well. Um, so yeah, pretty unique. As you can see, like the tuning system right here, they have all the uh, tuning machine heads right in the, the space in the body here, which is very unique to them. I believe it's patented by them. Um, you got dual pickup systems, which is cool. Um, once again, like this is really interesting, right? I guess you have like a strap. This is for uh, hanging your strap, I guess. They have a, a place for that as well, of course. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, I'm not sure like exactly how easy changing the strings would be. I think changing the strings would be a little bit more difficult. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty uh, interesting guitar. Very light, very portable. Um, and then you have two controls here. One is the volume for the piezo bridge pickup, and then one is the volume for the electric guitar pickup, the single coil pickup right here. And then you have a three-way selector switch right here. So one just activates the uh, piezo pickup for the acoustic electric sounds. One activates the electric guitar pickup, the single coil pickup. And then one is in the middle and activates both pickups for a pretty unique sound, I think. So yeah. Um, there's actually two modes to this guitar right now. This is what's called stowed mode. So um, this in this mode you can still play the guitar, but it's not like actually no you can't you can't plug it in. So this is this mode is actually just meant for um, for traveling, right? You just put it in the included gig bag, and uh, it is if you buy this guitar they include the gig bag with it, and uh, you have to put it into the stowed mode, and then you can put it into the uh, overhead cabin compartment of a plane. It just folds up very nicely. Um, and then if you want to play it, uh, you actually have to unscrew this here and put it into the uh, kind of lap mode. 
So basically I have to put this on like here, uh, yep, here, and just screw it on right here. And this takes a while to fit in. I can never get it fit in exactly right, but yeah, I'll just screw it in like this. All right. This could probably be better, but anyways, yeah, this is what's called a uh, lap mode. So then you just basically uh, move it right here, and this is the other mode. And um, yeah, so you have the folded mode for traveling, and then this is the mode you actually would use to play the guitar. Um, this is because the output jack is actually right here. So it's actually the output jack of the guitar. It's uh, in that kind of position, um, which makes it like a little bit hard to access, actually. Uh, but yes, um, how I'm going to play this is... So, um, again, I didn't get the stethoscope with this guitar, so I needed to get something else. And um, this is an external amplifier. It's a small mini battery-powered amp that I got, which I think is uh, very suitable for traveling as well. So it's a very tiny amp. Uh, this is the Vox AP2 cab. So this is um, actually a cabinet for the Amplug series of headphone amps, which I have right here. So this is the Vox uh, an Amplug 2 headphone amp. This is the AC30 model. They have a whole range of different models. They have like clean, um, they have like heavy distortion models, blues models, whatever, classic rock. Uh, so this is the one that's, you know, I think, you know, Vox, when you think of Vox, you think of the AC30 amp. So of course I went for this one, it's the most common. And uh, it's a headphone amp. So uh, basically if you plug it in and then you plug your headphones onto here, so this is the uh, input jack for a 3.5 millimeter jack for the headphones, and then you can just, you know, play it through your headphones, you're not disturbing anyone. So I think this is a very good pairing for this guitar, right? So you just plug this in, plug in a pair of headphones, and then you're playing whenever, wherever and whenever you're not disturbing anyone. Um, so I think it's perfect for this. Um, so yeah, battery powered, of course, it takes in two AAA batteries right here. And then, um, then this is the on switch. And up here, you have the aux input, so you can actually put like a MP3 player, um, something external, music player, you know, or your phone, right? Your smartphone, because people don't have MP3 players anymore. I guess you put your, your smartphone um, right here, and then you can play some music, and then it goes into, your, uh, goes into here so you can jam along. And then you have three controls here. You have gain, tone, and uh, volume. So three controls right here. And then you have um, effects. So I believe the effects cycles through like reverb, delay, chorus, um, your standard modulation effects, I believe, which is very basic, but at least you have it. And uh, yeah, and then the headphone jack, like I said. So pretty simple operation. This thing only costs 40 bucks. So it's very cheap, very easy to add on. And then once you plug it in, you're just, you can uh, play anywhere and whenever, wherever. So I think this is a very good fit. Um, I also got the cabinet, which is another 40 bucks. This cabinet is meant for this uh, headphone amp, so that's why it's called the, uh, the Amplug cabinet. It's the Amplug 2 cabinet, and this is the Amplug 2 headphone amp. This cabinet can also be used by itself. You don't actually need to have that one. Um, I mean, it's meant to be used with that one, but you can actually use it with itself because it actually you know, just operates as a speaker. Uh, so this one takes in a single 9-volt battery right here single 9-volt battery, and then here you have aux in, again, uh, you can plug in your phone or whatever, and you can play along with it. You have a guitar in right here, and then you have a DC input, in case you don't have to use batteries with this, um, you can just plug it into the wall and it works, and then you have the on switch. So, I'll just plug it into, straight into this uh, small little, it's actually kind of cute, I think. <laughs> uh, it's a small little mini amp right here, I think it's like, only like 1 watt or something. And then you can hear it just without using the Amplug headphone amp, and I'll plug it in to the headphone amp after. Alright, so the output jack is actually right here in this guitar. And then the output jack is here. Alright, I'm just going to flick this on, and now it's on. And then I can play it through, uh, through this small little amp right here. There you go. Raise the volume. Okay. So right now I'm playing using uh, both the electric and acoustic guitar pickup song. But it doesn't get very loud, but it does make some sound. And then this is the acoustic pickup. the 
electric guitar pick up by itself. It's substantially louder, I believe. Yeah, the piezo guitar pickup set is not too loud, right? It's actually, this is the maximum volume. And then this is the electric guitar pickup. You see how much louder the electric guitar pickup is. And then you have them both on. It sounds basically almost just like the acoustic pickup, just like a little bit brighter even. Um, but yeah, uh, that's just the cabinet. And then I'm gonna activate, I'm gonna now put in the Amplug 2 headphone amp. And then you have to, in order to use it with this cabinet, you actually have to put the headphone out of here into the aux input here. So that's how you link it up. Put the aux input and then this one plugs right into the top right here. So just, it looks almost just like a, a Vox stack now, a Vox AC30 half stack, which is pretty fun. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to turn this one on so you can hear the power of the AC30 headphone amp now. There. So now you're hearing the AC30. And I can adjust um, the gain and the tone on here. So let's have the tone a bit higher. Oops, can't have it too loud. It gets pretty loud actually, this one. And we have the volume up a little bit louder. Yep, so this has got both pickups on right now. I, had, I think I set it to reverb. The, um, <clears throat> the effects is on reverb setting right now. Yeah, so you can see just how much louder uh, using this Amplug 2 now is in the cabinet standalone, right? It's so bright. But I guess that's how it is because it's the Vox AC30 model, which is known for having a top boost and being, being very bright. So. Then let the uh, piezo pickup, acoustic pickup by itself. Better. Tames the brightness a little bit. Okay, and then the electric guitar pickup. So with the electric guitar, you can now hear a, a little bit of distortion now, right? Especially with the electric guitar pickup, uh, you can increase the gain, maybe a little bit more. So I'm, still, I'm on the acoustic setting already. Acoustic setting. All right, and then the uh, both pickups on at the same time. Now I guess I'll find it overly too harsh, I think, to my ears. It's almost like too bright. Electric guitar mode. Yeah, I can hear the the speaker starting to distort now because it's uh it's <laughs> too much for it, I think. Yeah, you hear that? Yeah. That's not 
good. So um, you can't play too loud with this. Um, there's only like a limit to how loud you can play. Um, but you know, that's, that's not too surprising given the size of this thing, like how small it is. You can just fit it into, um, actually like, yeah, you, even you can fit it into like a handbag or a purse or something like that. It's like really this small, like a really, really small um, amp, right? Like the closest I've seen is like those small little like battery powered amps by Marshall and Fender. Um, I, actually Vox makes the standalone themselves called the Rhythm Vox, right, which I actually did a video on many years ago. Um, so this is meant to compete with those kind of amps. It's, it's not meant to compete with, you know, even like a Boss Katana Mini or like a Black Star Fly. It's not meant to even compete with those ones because this is even smaller than those, right? So this is like a really, really tiny amp. So uh, this is really what you get with it, right? Uh, you can't really expect much more because it's so small and tiny, but it's so cheap too, right? It's like both of these added together is like maybe 80 bucks. So it's really cheap and it's really tiny and small. So can't really expect too much. Um, really, I would say I recommend this one if you are really, uh, like if you really don't have much room, right? In your luggage case or whatever you're traveling with, if you really don't have much room, then um, this is probably the minimum you can go with without taking up that much space, right? Like if you just want the smallest amp possible and the, the, probably the cheapest amp possible that can be used with this guitar, and this is probably the most portable one you can get, right? I mean, there's there's other ones that are, like I, like I mentioned, right? The Marshall and the Fender, like mini versions and whatever, are probably the same size. Like this probably can't get much smaller than this. Um, of course, if you just want to play with headphones on, then you can just get the amp plug too, the top part, right? But if you actually want to hear yourself um, with speakers and stuff, then just get the cabinet. Um, that will increase, you know, the amount of stuff you have to carry, but uh, it's still pretty small, pretty portable. So I'd say, yeah, this is probably the smallest, most portable amp that you can get for this guitar um, at about 80 bucks, and pretty much this is the sound you'll get out of it. It's not great. But, I mean, for the size, what do you expect, right? <laughs> so. Anything other than the acoustic pickup setting is like way too bright for me. Especially the top strings are so bright. So the acoustic pickup setting is the only one that I found even tolerable. The other ones are just like way too bright. It's just like both pickups on is way too bright. And then the electric one is like too much distortion. Almost. It's like too much distortion. Maybe if I roll back down the gain a little bit. Thank <laughs> you. 
No, it's still C. It's starting to. So, yeah. The electric guitar isn't. It's like got like too much power, and then both of them on is too bright. The acoustic one's the only one that's actually like kind of tolerable with this amp. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, that's it. That's traveling guitar uh, with this small Vox amp plug two with the cabinet. Um, so I'm going to show actually another amp that you can use. Uh, this one is, like I said, it's very tiny, very portable and uh, affordable, but it's not really the best sounding amp. <laughs> um, like this is like if you really absolutely have no room, then you can get this one. I would say if you have a bit more money, then you should probably go for something like the Yamaha THR5A. So this is an acoustic guitar amp. They actually make several different models of this amp, right? The THR5, THR10, um, but the 5A is, um, I mean, they, they make those ones for electric guitars. This one is meant specifically for an uh, acoustic guitar. Now, I don't know specifically the differences between an acoustic guitar amp and an electric guitar amp. Maybe some of you in the comments section can um, help me um, enlighten me about this. Like for me, I think, like, what's the personal difference I would think that the difference is uh, because acoustic guitars are prone to feedback, right? If you increase the gain and everything, that acoustic guitar amps usually don't have that much gain on tap compared to an electric guitar amp, which I would think to be the main difference between acoustic and electric guitar amp. Um, but yeah, if I'm wrong, then then maybe people in the comment section can correct me on this. But uh, yeah, this one is uh, an acoustic guitar amp, which means I guess there's not that much gain on tap. It's meant to focus on modeling different um, different microphones actually it's not even uh, this one is not modeling compared to the electric like amplifiers modeling amplifiers um, by these type of companies uh, usually they model different electric guitar amps like famous ones like the the Vox AC30 or um, the Marshall right Marshall Plexi or the Fender Bassman or the Fender Twin um, or like a boutique amp even like a Dumble or something like that but for an acoustic guitar amp they don't care about modeling different acoustic guitar amps, it's just they focus on the different microphones, which is kind of interesting. I didn't know that there was a big difference between uh, using these kinds of mics, but apparently there is. So um, there's a few different settings here. There's electric clean, which I guess simulates a clean electric guitar, even though you you use an acoustic, you can still simulate an, a clean electric guitar, uh, I guess. And then you have a nylon, which is supposed to simulate like the nylon guitar. But usually nylon guitars are like classical guitars, right? So they wouldn't be electrified anyways. Uh, but I guess it's like you're trying to mic up a nylon guitar. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, then you got a tube mic. Um, uh, I don't know. I never used a tube mic before. But apparently they have a special sound. So they have a tube mic here. Dynamic mic, of course, we all know. Like SM, Shure SM58s, right? Uh, very popular. Uh, condenser mics, right? This is usually used for vocals. Um, but I guess you can use it to uh, mic an acoustic guitar too. So there's a few different settings here. Uh, this is the power switch right here. Um, this is to switch between the different mic types. This is uh, blending. So you can either choose to blend your clean uh, acoustic guitar signal or electric guitar. You can use this with electric guitars too. I mean, like I said, I don't know clearly the differences between acoustic amp and electric amp because you can use electric guitars with an acoustic amp. And uh, I don't think there's anything bad with it. But uh, anyways. This one you can blend the clean signal from your acoustic guitar or electric guitar with the microphone modeling. And uh, I guess you can do full modeling if you want to see the full power of this, um, whatever modeling technology they use. Uh, or you can want to hear the, the, just the clean sound of your guitar, then you can, you can blend it like this. And there's a master volume, um, there's a tone control right here, the effects, there's compressor, compressor chorus and chorus. I guess compressor chorus will add a bit of both. Then you have delay and reverb. Um, so a delay, delay and reverb, it's like a mix of both, and you have a hall reverb, which I guess is different than the, uh, than, than the delay reverb, so yeah. Uh, and then you have another volume here, which is not the master volume. So you have a master volume and a non-master volume, okay? Uh, then you got the input right here, you have headphone jack, this is a one quarter inch headphone jack, not a 3.5 millimeter. Then you got an aux in, which is 3.5 millimeter, of course. So you can hook up your um, your phone, right? Phone and play some backing tracks or something like that. You can also hook this up to your computer with a USB input right here. So you can actually um, install some software, I believe, and uh, 
and uh, use this as kind of like a, a companion to recording on your computer, which is pretty cool. You have an AC adapter right here, and this being a battery powered amp, it's also uh, able to be battery powered. Whoops. Um, this is, these are all AA batteries, I believe. Yeah, AA batteries. So it takes in a whopping eight AA batteries, which is quite a bit. You can see why I did not, uh, I chose to use the AC adapter here. Um, unless, you know, I'm playing outside, in which case I have to use the, uh, I have to use the batteries, but, but yeah, um, otherwise I think most of the time I probably use the AC adapter unless I'm traveling. Uh, but I think this is a much, you know, more worthy investment than something like this. If you're really short on room, then sure, get this one. I mean, because it's nothing else smaller than this, but, uh, you can, this one is not, I mean, it's bigger, but you can still put it into like a suitcase or something like that. It still fits. $200, so it's um, more than twice as expensive. This one's like 80 bucks total. This one's 200 bucks. It's more expensive. It's bigger, but not by that much, right? It's still pretty small for a guitar amp, right? This is competing with the Boss Katana Mini, Black Star Fly. Um, it's competing with some of the Laney Mini amps, I believe, which came out with a few of those. And um, Roland's, right? Uh, Roland has a few amps as well. So yeah, it's, it's competing with uh, definitely more now. I think the Vox even has, uh, they have what's the uh, Adio GT, I believe. So I have the Vox Mini 5, which is kind of like a busking amp. And that one's actually, it's bigger than this. So that one is like meant for busking. It's competing with the Roland Cube. Uh, this one is like a desktop amp. So it competes with the, Katana, the Boss Katana Mini, like I mentioned, is probably the main competitor. Um, but also the Vox Adio GT, I believe, is another one that it competes with. Um, and the Black Star Fly 3, so uh, that's be the that, those would probably, probably be the uh, amps that's competing with. It's like a desktop amp. It's not loud enough for busking, right? The busking amps is a little bit bigger and usually has like a microphone input or something. So like I said, the Roland Cube or the Vox Mini 5 I have, that, those are like busking amps, they're bigger. This one meant to be like, you can put it on a desk and you can play. And it's going to be uh, less portable than this, right? This is like a fully just something you can put almost into a pocket. And this one is, is bigger than that, so it's going to sound better. It's going to sound much better than this one, actually. Um, takes up more room, but still, it's still is pretty portable. You can still fit it into a uh, suitcase. So anyways, that's enough talking. Let's get on to uh, demonstrating this one. So, yeah, I'm going to show put this one over here. Yeah, you guys can hear how the Yamaha THR-5A sounds like. And uh, I'm actually going to hook up my looper pedal to this as well, my Boss RC5 loop station pedal. So, yeah, we're going to do this. So uh, yeah, let's try out this amplifier. Should sound a lot better than the other small one. Uh, right, turn it on. All right, I'm gonna go through all the different settings right here, okay? And it, it's cool. It lights up with, um, you know, there's not real tubes in here, obviously, but it's meant to simulate the glow of tubes, right? Which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let's start out with um, condenser. Condenser setting. I'm gonna have it go all the way into the mic setting and blend it all the way into the mic so you guys can actually hear what it sounds like. Turn the master tone uh, volume all the way up to noon and then I'm going to put a little bit of compression on it and um, some a little bit of hall reverb. So that's what, that's what it is. I'm going to have uh, start out with the acoustic pickup first. Alright so I have the um, I'm going to set the controls at around 2 o'clock actually. So this sounds a lot better than the the Vox Mini Amp, right? <laughs> sounds way better, actually. Uh, so if we're just like a little bit more size, a little bit more heft, right? It, it still weighs just four pounds, so it's still pretty light, still pretty portable, and um, a little bit more expensive, 200 bucks, but still cheap for an amp, right? You get way better sound. It's still battery powered, so it's still pretty power portable. Right, so this is at the condenser setting. Piezo pickup. I'm gonna now switch both of them on, the electric and the piezo. Right. Then electric only. 
only. electric guitar with this amp is a little bit maybe too much. I think this is uh, acoustic guitar amps maybe are just expecting very low input volume, not that much gain, right? So yeah, again, that's all on the acoustic pickup only. Alright, so now let's try, that was a good condenser mic setting, now I'm gonna try the dynamic mic setting. Now again on the piezo pickup. Okay. Now I'm going to switch it to, uh, this is an um, electric guitar, so uh, single coil. Okay. So that is the dynamic mic, and then we switch over to the tube mic now. nylon guitar setting, which nylons are always acoustic, right? So it makes it sound like a nylon guitar. Alright, this is the acoustic setting, both pickups on. Piezo pickup setting it sounds okay, I guess. It's definitely not as loud as the other um, as the other ones. So, and then we have the electric clean setting. So I have it on the piezo pickup electric clean setting. It's pretty loud. Uh, the turn both pickups on. Overly too bright, almost like this. The other amp right here gets overly too bright on the middle setting. Then on the single pulse setting, now it's starting to distort. So on the single pick coil pickup setting, on the electric clean setting is definitely the loudest, I believe. So it's starting to distort. Thank you. 
Yeah, um, the nylon, the tube settings are not really my cup of tea. Um, maybe some people might like it, but it's just not as good. Um, I like the dynamic and condenser mic settings the best. So, like... So my settings are probably the best for me. Just for fun. I guess run a loop through this and then see how it does with a loop. Okay, I'm gonna play with this. Yeah, I guess this is some jazz. Maybe I'll turn both pickups on.
try it with the piezo. The piezo pickup doesn't have much volume, this is not full volume actually. The electric uh, single pole pickup definitely has more volume. piezo pickup but it's really not as loud right the volume just isn't there so we'll have to play us play like a, a pop song or something so yeah this is like in a case where uh, you know I'd probably be like um, somewhere singing to somebody <laughs> or just playing to myself um, singing to myself or something like a pop song and I'll be like hey do you guys have any requests and I'll I'll sing it for you yes. The city lights cause they shine so bright And they're calling you Before you go You need to know I will stand in your way But I want you to stay Remember the summer nights When I held you tight Oh, it felt so right I thought we had would never Oh, you walked away Just baby Think it all 
the type of um, thing you can do when you buy like a campfire or something, and, or I don't know, like when <laughs> you're just out there somewhere and you like, anyway want to hear a song and you know, you start playing, start busking or something like that. Yeah, anyways, uh, that is, just wanted to try out, that would be the piezo pickup, because if you use the electric guitar pickup, it's too loud, right? So yeah, the electric guitar pickup on this is actually pretty good. I mean, especially for the price of this guitar. guitar pickup's pretty good, the single coil is just louder, right? And the piezo guitar pickup is definitely softer, but pretty good I guess if you're just gonna play chords and sing a pop song or something like that. So overall I think the Traveler guitar is pretty versatile, um, definitely it's very portable and um, yeah you can travel with it very easily as you can see the size of it, the weight and everything. And I think paired up with a nice acoustic guitar amp, um, like the Yamaha TH5 or an electric guitar amp, uh, it's up to you. I chose an acoustic guitar amp because this is not a very high gain guitar, uh, and I think it's, it works fine. I mean, even like the electric pickup in this is actually pretty powerful. Um, but yeah, this is probably the amp I would go for. I mean, there's uh, there's the other THR amps which are all pretty good in the lineup too. Um, and then if you really are short on space, then you can go for the Vox like mini amp, but no, it doesn't sound very good. It doesn't sound very good, but uh, it's really if you're, uh, you know, if you really don't have any space in your luggage and you really want to travel light, but you want to hear yourself playing, I guess, then this is pretty much the option. Or um, I would say just go for just the headphone part then, just the amp plug two, headphone amp, and um, the cabinet. I mean, it's just it's just very very basic. So yeah, guys, um, that's it. That's the Travel Guitar Pro. Uh, with the Amplug 2, uh, the Vox Amplug 2 uh, mini amp right there, very very small and tiny, and I also demoed the Yamaha THR5A acoustic battery powered amp. Both of these are battery powered, so they're portable. Um, except this one's just a little bit bigger, but still will fit in your suitcase and stuff. It also looks a lot nicer and sounds a lot nicer than this one. So um, that's it, guys. Let me know if you guys have any questions or uh, or comments. But yeah. It's my new Traveler guitar, which uh, I will be using. Hopefully, I can travel soon, right? <laughs> uh, but we'll see with the, you know, the uh, the Delta um, variant and everything going on. But hopefully, someday I'll be able to travel a lot, and then that's when this guitar will come in handy. Um, and yeah, if you guys want, you can also get a loop station. This is a looper um, that I use. It's also battery powered, and it's pretty useful if you uh, have a backing track or you just want to jam along to yourself, uh, play by yourself. I think it's pretty useful, or just get a drum machine. Um, I think there's a few out there that are pretty good, like Beat Buddy. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I would recommend those if you're looking to really uh, go somewhere portably and just jam by yourself. I think it's pretty fun. So, yeah.